Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting video on next race. Today we will discuss a synthesis procedure of a very famous fluorescent nanoparticle known as carbon quantum dots. So once we go deep into the literature survey, we see numerous synthesis processes for the synthesis of carbon quantum dots. Today, I will tell you one very common precursor which can easily be used for the fabrication of very high fluorescent blue carbon quantum dots. Everyone must have heard of citric acid. You can easily get access to it in any chemistry lab. You can dissolve the required amount of citric acid in water as a solvent to it. Add the required proportion of ethylene diamine, which you can also obtain from the list of common lab chemicals. I am not particularly mentioning any specified proportions since it can be optimized based on your requirements. The solution mixture is placed in an autoclave for performing a hydrothermal reaction. So basically here, inside the autoclave, a condensation polymerization reaction takes place, which leads to the formation of polymeric stems, which carbonize to give rise to blue fluorescent carbon quantum dots. One thing which is uh, very important to know is that these nitrogen doped carbon quantum dots, aside from fluorescent carbon quantum carbon cores, also have an additional fluorophore. Here in the slide you can see the structure of the fluorophore. It has been found that this fluorophore can highly modify the quantum yield of the quantum dots and structure has been confirmed from the NMR studies. I will not tell that this is the only way and precursor for preparation of carbon quantum dots but among thousands of other precursor this is a very common one and highly effective in producing a high quantum yield. So these are the sources from which I have taken help from. You can go through these research papers. They are very much ri rich in information regarding carbon quantum dots research. Obviously this is not it. You can go to Google Scholar and do your own literature survey. I will soon update you with other synthesis procedures for the preparation of green and red fluorescent carbon quantum dots. Until then, stay tuned on next race. Thank you everyone.